brief briefcase full of full of songs and, and um, started playing around just by myself uh, in bars and stuff around St. John's and uh, eventually was kind of sick of that, grew sick of that and, and thought that you know this the songs deserved more sounds. We 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 started playing around in 2005 and then uh, uh, things I don't know that people liked it you know. I think it's real important to, to, to try to um, try to write lyrics that deserve to be sort of sung and yelled across, you know, a room full of people because that's they're all there, just standing there, listening, waiting for you to say something. It was recorded very differently. Right? Like the first one was. Shoestring, you know, and it was uh, recorded down the road from my house, and we took about two months, <laughs> two and a half months to record it, uh, you know, a few hours a day because everyone was working and, no, exactly. and uh, yeah. you know, living their lives. But you know, the the the, the last record we did, it, you know, nobody had lives anymore, so we were all together all the time. So we actually did it in two weeks in like an amazing studio in Halifax. The Polaris Prize is just is a great, it's a great thing. It's a great institution. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Not only you know the money that you get and the support that you get from it, but just the way that it works. You know, and, and all the bands that, that get that get on it are the, our favorite bands, and bands that we really look up to. You know, and, look, and music we look into. I think it should be. I think it should be Patrick Watson, but I don't. I don't know if. A lot of people are saying. I don't know if he will because he got it before, exactly. but I mean, I don't know if that matters. Uh, you know, it would be interesting to see.